welcome back to the live stream of Minecraft Story Mode Episode 3, Part 2. Whatever this is, looks like that's the way in. After you, dude. Here it goes. What do you see? Please don't say more stairs. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Ah, so bright. That's my body, Axel. My broken, battered oh, body. Second. The ground is almost squishy, like carpet. Looks funny, too. Hey, I can see again. Glad to hear it. No. What in the. It's made of wool. This tree, the grass, it's. It's all wool. You're telling me that we've been resting all our hopes on this guy, and the whole time he's been building some. Totally artificial happy land? Well, it's real wool. Isn't it pretty impressive that he built an exact replica out of this stuff? Impressively banana pants. We came here for nothing. What are we even supposed to do now? We okay. came here for Soren and for his Formidabom. That's still the plan. Just look around, Jesse! If the greatest builder of all time has spent years working on this, what are the chances he's even gonna have that bomb, huh? I've had enough crazy for one day. What's his problem? He seems pretty upset. Maybe he's allergic to wool. Just give him some space. He'll be okay. Hey, Petra. Have you ever seen anything weirder than this place? Actually, yeah. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with, like, a million carrots. So, on a scale of ugh to ugh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. So I'm probably looking for... Well, to open a secret door, you need a secret mechanism. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Look away. Thought you could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's up, Jesse? You both doing okay? Could be worse. 
could be better. Either of you guys know what's eating Lucas? Well, as a longtime observer of human behavior, we have no idea. Try, you know, talking to him. I'm gonna keep poking around. Right. Found anything interesting? Just that button. Doesn't really seem to do anything, though. I'm gonna keep poking around. Right. Well, at least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. What do you want? What's your problem, Lucas? Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But, Jesse, I think something's wrong with Petra. I mean, you have to have noticed the lack of energy, the labored breathing. It's nothing. I'm sure of it. No, Jesse, it's something. Something big. It's, it's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Lucas Petra's sick. How long have you known? A while, but she asked me not to say anything. The wither infected her with something. So everything I was worried about is true. This is my fault, Jesse. Petra's wither sickness, it's because of me. There's no way this is because of you. If I hadn't choked, you would have been able to pull Petra out of that tractor beam sooner. For all we know, Petra didn't get sick until way after that. Maybe you're right. If one of our best fighters is sick... Do we even stand a chance anymore? And not like we haven't dealt with some grade A problems before, but... I just can't help feeling kind of hopeless. It just means you gotta step up more than you have already, okay? Okay. I just kind of wish Petra would tell everybody. It would just make things easier. It's, uh, cute, I guess.
Neat. Sounds like the music is coming through the wall. It didn't do anything. Hey, Jesse. Uh, I kind of need to get at that lever you're blocking. Thanks. Yep. That's weird. Hey, everyone, I think I found Soren's way out. Way to go, Jesse. Nice sleuthing, Jesse. Sorry I wasn't more help back there. When I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor, or when I got that skull. I'm just happy you're with us. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. Guess the water system isn't just for the outside. Not that the outside was... Actually, the outside. You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. Music's louder, but I don't hear anyone talking in there. Let's see what's going on behind this door. And 
I call that one symphony in E. <laughs> a new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him. This time I observe Soren. I place a block on top of another block. <laughs> what the rudimentary, yes, it's but just a recording of undeniable intelligence. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After all that, he's not even here? I better eat something. Positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. We can't give up now. Soren had to have been here at some point, right? Which means this place has got to be crawling with clues. Odds are it's crawling with something. Maybe there's something useful well, on this record. My next I can figure out what he's whether talking they might be about. Able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hide I among them. Like hide among them. Uh, Jesse, do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. I guess everybody needs hobbies. Even if they are really, really, really dangerous. You think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Enderman Observations, Part 27? I've been watching the Endermen up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. Then they wandered away. But it seemed deliberate. Maybe. I followed one of them for the next three hours. Here's what happened. Calls of the Enderman. <laughs> and finally, an Enderman love song. Constructions of peaceful Endermen. Hmm. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep and pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only Endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest in building things, only hitting me with their fists. Folly of pumpkins? Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Endermen from attacking me, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior, as if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true natures. Therefore, I have now begun to fashion a camouflage suit that will allow me to mingle amongst these heretofore inscrutable creatures, and like a fearless... You find anything useful? So apparently Worth if you talk to him ten times you get achievement. Doing all right? What I've been told of my daughter. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. Oh, like this place doesn't give you the creeps. Keep it real, Rubes. This time should be. Yeah, 
Nope. Why? Don't get it. Hey, Olivia. What do you think the others have found? I don't know. Soren's mansion looks huge, but the lab seems to be where the real answers are. I'm no art snob, but meh. Right. So after ten smiles it is. Yeah, I'd like to hear a joke. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is good. Uh, it's a little risque, but real good. Oh, you slay me, buddy. There you go. Olivia, check it out. An Enderman suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense, or... Wait a second! This looks like a taller one was hanging there. It's missing. Because Soren must be wearing it. This is the disguise he was talking about. You mean... In order to walk amongst the Enderman, you have to become an Enderman. This way. It's a good thing they can't see me through this glass. go out there, I need to put on a disguise. Kinda stinky, but it fits. Ugh, more than kinda stinky, I'm sorry to say. It's so weird. I know it's you in there, but I still don't want to look at you. Alright, let's go out into the... Wild. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. We uh, just need to get his attention without riling up the Enderman. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, we've just got to get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. Thank you. 